Hey y'all, it's Alicia, and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoblop. Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. If you're new here, well, this is a great day to land in the Hoblop. And to my returning folks, welcome back, y'all. Happy 4th of July weekend to my American friends and family. Happy Canada Day to all of my Canadian friends and family. And to my international folks, happy Crafty Weekend. We made it through another week, y'all. We made it through another week. Well, one of the changes I'm imposing is Fun Fridays. And if you all remember months ago, when I, well, years ago, I guess now, when I started this channel, I did do Fun Fridays. And Fun Fridays, uh, I set aside for me to craft. And, you know, in the last little while, I've sort of let that go because, well, I just did. But there, I'm reinstating Fun Fridays. So that means on Fridays, I will come on here, say good morning to y'all, and do a shout out or two for other channels. But then I spend the rest of the day just crafting and watching videos, mostly crafting actually. And in the evenings I watch videos and catch up um, on comments and that sort of thing. So basically I take Fridays off to do some serious crafting. So that's one of the changes. Today's shout out is for Miss Patty. Now Patty, I found through Wandy Sweets. Um, why is she our shout out for this week? Well, wait till you see what she sent Wandy. If you have not seen it, oh, you need to. I'm putting a link to that video down below. Patty innovated a miniature utility cart, like the ones we use for our craft supplies. Oh, and it's amazing. Even the corners on her boxes are rounded. I actually examined it and froze the video several times because I was like, I could build that if the corners were square. How the heck did she make a rounded corner box? Wanda's going to see if she can reinvent it and maybe do a tutorial, but maybe Patty will could do a tutorial too. Wouldn't that be fabulous? But that's our shout out for today. So I'm going to put a link to Wandy's video so you can see the card and a link to Patty's channel so you can check out her channel and her other amazing projects. So Fridays will be a crafting day uh, primarily. I won't even, I uh, will do some commenting like I always do, but I, the most of the day will be spent making and that's going to help me ensure that I have time to work on things like collabs and projects and swaps. The other big change folks is that um, they're going to need to put me back on my cytotoxic immunosuppressants and that's a fancy way of saying chemotherapy. Now when you go back on chemotherapy the first three weeks are very rough. Uh, I have a girlfriend who also takes cytotoxic immunosuppressants and when they do this she can't get off the sofa for three weeks. I fend a little better, but I'm not going to lie. I'm super nauseous 90% of the day, and I am super drained. Now, I'm very fortunate. They're only going to do the first treatment through IV in the hospital. All subsequent, subsequent treatments will be done via pill form like I used to take them. But it's an adjustment process, y'all, and it's super draining. So for that reason, I am not going to take on any more collabs or swaps than I'm already committed to. All the ones I'm committed to, like Cynthia and Kayla and Heather and Cruz and Judy and my newbie swap partner, Erica, and I've already finished my one for Soleil, um, those are different. I'm honoring those. And Jelly Bean and Carmen's are finished. I just need help getting the rest of the big boxes. I've been sending it to them in spurts, um, but the last of the stuff is already packaged. I just need some help getting it to the post office because the other huge change uh, is that cytotoxic immunosuppressants really suppress your immune system. It's serious chemo, y'all, and I'm on the highest dose. So the problem with that is that every patient on their roster who took this cytotoxic immunosuppressant during COVID contracted COVID. Now they survived, that's the good news, however, None of them had lung conditions. And unfortunately, I not only have lung fibrosis, but we got back the test results, y'all, and I've developed a new lung complication because I've been off my medicine. And it's a serious one. So we have real concerns about my ability to survive COVID. So for that reason, I'm not allowed to leave the apartment. And that perhaps was the biggest pill to swallow. That means no more walks, no more going to the post office. Uh, it's gonna be a rough go. I can sit on my fire escape. Thank goodness I have a fire escape. 
So how am I going to deal with that? How am I going to get swaps out? Because we don't have click and ship here, as you know, we have no one to come pick up the mail. I've got a couple of options. And my husband reminded me of one of them. I can always pay a bit more and ship FedEx. So they do have pickups here. So that's good news. That's one option. The other option is the family of the kids that I'm very close with. They've offered once a week to take mail for me to the post office, just like they did with the kids. Now there's a couple of challenges with that. They can't carry half as much as I can. So that is why I'm not going to take on more swaps than I've already agreed to. It's just, I don't want to let anyone down this way. You know, I can do my swap with Cynthia and with, and with Cruz and with Kayla and with Heather and with Erica. I know I can make meet those, but I don't want to say yes to others until I get a sense for how much mail they're able to take for me. I'm also going to speak with my postal carrier to see if she'll agree to do in Florida, we have a mailbox in our unit. So you can just put up mail in there and they take it for you. Here I had, during COVID, I had to convince my carrier to take envelopes and not all of them reached everyone. For instance, uh, Miss Fletcher did not get my entry. So I don't always trust her to actually take the mail to the, to the post office or not to lose it. But that's my only other option, y'all, because I won't be able to do any mail at the post office. They won't even let me. They've actually arranged for um, a special company called Capsule to deliver my medicines. So I won't even be going to the pharmacy. I won't really be able to go anywhere. So for that reason, I'm not going to take on more swaps and more um, things like that until I'm sure that I can get mail out. And I'm sure you understand that. It's just that I don't want to let any of you down. Um, I will, you know, in worst case scenario, I can use FedEx for my existing swaps. But again, we all have postal budgets and the fees have gone up and up and up. So I have to do it within my budget too. So I can't do everything FedEx. Hence why I need to just keep the swaps that I've arranged. Um, and I apologize because I would like to do more and I love crafting. Uh, the other reality is that chemo makes you tired. It just does. So it may mean that another change is there may only be one video on some days. And I apologize. It's just, I don't know what my energy will be like and we're going to have to play that by ear. The good change is that I'm going to do a craft with me live once a week. And that's new for me. And it's not because I love lives, but I know other people do. And it's a way that you guys can chit chat with me and visit and spend time with me for an hour and I know so many of you enjoy them, so I'm going to give it a try, y'all. They're going to be Thursday nights at 7 p.m. That's, I'm setting that date in stone. So unless I'm really sick and have to cancel, and in that case, I will do a community post to let you know, they will always be Thursdays at 7 p.m. And every week I will do a community post announcing what we're going to be making that week. In my perfect world, I'm going to do them like Miss Judy, where some of the time you see my hands, and the rest of the time you see me face to face. But if you need to do something close up, I wanna be able to switch to the hands. Now, I don't yet know how to do that, but I'm gonna figure out how to do it this week. And I think we will start our first crafty, uh, our first live this coming Thursday, so a week yesterday. And I'll announce at some point this week what we're going to be making. But I am going to be honoring the fact that we have shabby makers, vintage makers, clean crafters, Maggie crafters, mixed media, grunge makers, we're gonna be doing all sorts of things. Now, feel free to either craft along with me for what we're making, or if you feel like working on something else that you're working on, you can work on that too. And you'll have to give me lots of feedback because I participate in a lot less lives than most of you because I don't love them as much as you do. So you're gonna to have to let me know um, what I can do to improve it and what kind of things you would like to, to see. I'd also love to know from you if there are any specific crafts you would like to try making. And if you could leave those in the comments down below, that would be helpful because I'm setting up a schedule of what we'll cover in the craft with these. The other change is that once a week, I'll do a tutorial or a project share every week. And I haven't decided yet if that's going to be on Tuesdays or on Wednesdays, but one of those days you will notice there will be a, a craft with me, uh, sorry, a project share or a tutorial, one of the two. Um, and those are the basic changes that will be occurring. They're not vast, but I wanted to share them with you. I'm going to be testing out different things. 
I also am going to do what others are doing. I am going to open mail and pre-record and sprinkle those happy mails throughout the week. That will not only help me clear my bin, but it'll actually be more efficient, I think. I'm not gonna use the pre-record bracket. I'm just gonna let you all know that that's what I'm doing so that you know that sometimes the, the video you're watching may have been recorded two days earlier. Um, just giving you a heads up now so that you're aware of it. And I will continue doing Susan's die cut uh, swap just because I find die cutting very relaxing. And so I think even during this new phase that I'm going to be going through, it's going to be something that I'm going to want to continue participating in. And if I can, I'm going to continue doing Miss Judy and Miss Donna swap. I say if I can, just because A, I'm worried about postage uh, and being able to get things off to the post office, but B, I don't yet know uh, what the outcome will be of adjusting to this chemo. Every time, y'all, it's different. So that one is a, a I hope I can continue. Uh, so I wanna share that with you as well. I'm also gonna test out a couple of other things and I want your honest reactions to these things. So in two weeks from now, I'm gonna ask, ask for a more formal opinion from you. So please let me know and don't be afraid of hurting my feelings. I, I'm asking for your advice for a reason. I want this channel to be the best it can be. So, you know, if I say to you, hey, what'd you think of this and you didn't care for it, just tell me, tell me you didn't and why. The why is very important because sometimes it's just a matter of tweaking something as opposed to just throwing it away. So folks, those are the majority of the changes. They're not vast, but they're important that I communicate them to you especially those of you who have been here with me for two years. I, I felt it was important to share all of these changes um, and why I'm doing them. As you know, I canceled Crafty Love for the summer. I think that was a really wise choice and it's simply because of our postal problems here. I had two packages returned to me that I sent to Lanny. One was sent ages ago and was a Happy Meal and one was her life-saving package. And I checked with Lanny tonight and the addresses on the packages are correct. So you tell me why they didn't deliver them. Thankfully, there's a policy at USPS that when this happens, they have to reship it for free. So I will be taking those back to the post office before I start this chemotherapy and have them resend those packages out to Lenny. But I am having serious mail issues. So I'm really glad I canceled the Crafty Love. That said, the formerly known as the Road to 2K Challenge, which is really my, it's really a thank you challenge, and I should go and formally change the title of that video. It's a thank you giveaway. That's what I'm doing. It's a thank you giveaway, and all you have to do is a VR, y'all. Many of you have already done it, uh, a VR or an Instagram post, but a lot of you still haven't. Folks, that prize pack is fantastic. It's either a Minte prize pack, a Prima prize pack, a Maggie prize pack. I mean, you get your choice and it's from that wonderful ASC supplier. So make sure that you're checking that out. I'll put a end screen to that challenge again down, um, at the end of this video and I'll put a link to that video down below as well. Make sure that you do this challenge because this one you don't have to mail in anything for in order to participate. So it's a real easy one to do and you, have a, you stand a chance to win a really great prize. I'm also going to be adding in, um, secret and hidden giveaways because we are canceling Crafty Love for the summer. And you'll just have to watch for those in the videos. I may not always announce them in the title of the video, so you may just have to figure it out as you're, as you're going along. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate all your support. Many of you said, look, do whatever you need to do for your health, and I really appreciate it. Uh, this wasn't the best news yesterday evening. and. You know what the best part of that was? Going on, I had already started, when we got the news, I had already started doing the unpackaging of the Amazon and Chris's amazing Happy Meal and Monty's surprise Happy Meal. And that was really uplifting to have during this news. Not the best news, but you know, one of the things I know about myself is that I'm, I'm a fighter, y'all, and I want my life. So even, you know, the COVID risk is frightening. There is no question. It's absolutely terrifying but so was my illness and when I was first diagnosed with scleroderma it gave me a 10-year life expectancy maximum well I've had this 12 I'll be 12 it'll be 12 years this year and up until going off my medicine I was doing pretty darn good you know working full-time managing a house traveling all over the world 
I was living a pretty good life considering. So I, I can't give that up, y'all. I just can't give that up. And that means going back on the immunosuppressants, even in a pandemic. Now we are holding out hope there is a safer place for me to be and we've made an application for me to go there but it's likely that they'll turn me down. We will know more probably by Tuesday and again I will keep you updated on that information um, as I learn it. Going there would be a lot safer for me to take the immunosuppressants but it's a long shot y'all. It's truly a long shot. They turned down my first application. This is an appeal and I don't I'm not counting on them saying yes. If they did, it would make this so much easier and far less scary. Yes, they still have COVID, but so few cases and much better managed. So keep your fingers for me, y'all. If you pray, if you well wish, just just pray that they that they say yes. Because if they don't, well, I'm going on immunosuppressants here during a pandemic, and I'm going to be stuck in my apartment. So one of the things I want to do this week is... You know how I did like that crafty reorg? I think I gotta move things around again because if I'm gonna be here 24 seven, then I want this to be the happiest, most buoyant, joyful place. And for me, that means it has to feel like a sanctuary. And it doesn't feel bad right now. It just doesn't feel like a sanctuary in the way I'm going to need it to feel if I'm gonna commit to being here for six to eight months. Uh, thankfully, we do have a fire escape, so I will be able to sit outside on that and that you know we're not supposed to but the building will let me so that is my update y'all again in two weeks I'm going to do a check-in I'm going to see what you liked and what you didn't like we'll do that on a live so that it's easy for me to record what you thought what you'd prefer um, and that sort of thing I'd also again remind you please leave me a list of things you would love a tutorial for or you would love a craft with me on I know a lot of you asked for a tea staining tutorial but there are so many of those but if there's something that you're really interested in learning how to make, please list it down below or something you think would be great to make with everybody on a live. Thank you guys so very much. Don't forget to check out that amazing utility cart that Wandy received. I'm going to put a link to that video down below and to Patty's channel who created it. Well, today is fun Friday, y'all. So that means I'm going to go do some crafting and relaxing. And I'm hoping the same thing for you. I'm wishing for you a very happy and healthy weekend, a creative weekend, and if you're very fortunate, time with people that you love and care much about. I also want to say thank you to Lizzie for also doing a birthday message for my husband. And I want to thank like P and Pat, oh my goodness, I could, and also Sabrina Crafty Mom and Son, so many of you today and yesterday checked in when you knew I was getting those results. And I really appreciate it so very much, y'all. I really do. Thanks for being so supportive as I've gone through this medical crisis. I'm sure that you guys all noticed I've spent so much time at the hospital the last two weeks. Um, and you probably suspected something was brewing. And now you know what. But, you know, folks, everyone, as I tell you, has something. Nobody in this world is exempt. And like Miss Sheila, I'm a tough fighter. So, COVID or not, I'm going to give this my best shot. All right, y'all. Take real good care and happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. Bye for now.